welcome to the channel. My name is Randy. This is ETX Real Service and Repair. And uh, this video, we are going to disassemble the Olympic Pen Penguin 204. It's got some issues. Uh, the, the bail not, not tripping like it should. It acts like it's sticking. And then the anti-reverse override, no matter which position you put it in, it doesn't work. So we're going to take it apart, see what we can find out, see if we can do it any, if we can help it. I'm going to start by removing the drag adjuster and removing the spool. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can remove the handle. Take the handle off. And go ahead and remove the side plate. Maybe. And I'm laying, I'm going to lay these screws out in an order like they came out, just in case any of them is different. I know which position they came from. And we have the two at the front. And I've got them laid out left and right. And we have one more. They all should be the same, I would think. But you always want to keep a check on that. If a screw is different, make note of where it went, where it came from, so that you can put it back in the correct position later. And all of these screws are the same. I don't have my parts being open here. Okay, I see we can remove the cap. Okay, I don't know exactly what's going on there, but we will soon figure it out. Let me try to wipe off some of this grease here. It's dried. That could be the whole problem, a bunch of dried grease. We're going to use a little bit of this uh, Ace Hardware uh, WD-40 equivalent. Try to break some of that stuff up where we can remove it. Yeah, it's just a caked on mess, dried grease. could be keeping this reel from uh, working properly. Let's go ahead and take out a cross wind block screw. And we 
you can pull the axle shaft out. That was sticky. Didn't want to come out. We'll remove the cross line block. And I've got some uh, PB blaster penetrating oil here that I'm going to just drop that into. Let that old grease be soaking. While I disassemble the rest of the reel. And let's see here what we need for this. Sure. Here, yeah, where I can open my bench or my, my toolbox here to get the right. Not quite big enough. It's a little bit bigger than a half inch. I don't have the right size nut driver to remove that. Let's see if this socket fits. It's a little loose. This is a metric. That one's a little big too. What size is that? It's a metric. That's a 14. Yeah. Try a 16. No. socket it helps we're going to try this in the own position first that tighten so this one comes off conventional counterclockwise the little Kmart reel I done in the last video came off clockwise Appears to be a little stuck. There we go. We'll get all that cleaned up. We have a single ball bearing in there. And we have a retaining uh, clip. Get this grease out of the way right quick where I can see the hold to get that snap ring out of there. Okay. And uh, I'm going to try these miniature snap ring pliers. If you don't have a set of these, they are very useful.
just like that. And I got I picked these up off of Amazon. There's where they come in a set. I'll show them to y'all right quick. They come in a set. And these when it needs to open this way. And then you have these when they need to squeeze it together. And you get a straight and then an angled pair in both. Pick those up off of Amazon. But they work very well. Got another stuck bearing. There, we got it out. Big blob of grease stuck there. And I'm just going to drop that sleeve and pinion gear into that penetrating oil also. Now I'm going to see if I can remove the main gear. To remove that spring, you had to take off this screw. You can see how it's made so that the main gear can come out. Okay, we have our main gear out. Looks like that little spring here needs to be have some more tension put on it. It's gotten loose or weak. It may not even be connected. Yeah, there it is. It's connected. It's just weak. We'll see what we can do for that. Let's see if we got a a tension. I mean a spacer washer here and it's stuck in dried grease but I think that is a spacer washer but it's stuck I don't know that I can get that off in order to give that spring some more uh, 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 tweaking Well, that looks like a special type tool that he used to put that in there. It's got two slots cut in the side. And I'm not sure if it's removable or not. But that spring needs to be readjusted. It's weak. But uh, for now, let's work on getting the bearing out.
Okay. Well, it seems like we pretty much have it disassembled. <coughs> we will, I will get this cleaned up and uh, see what I can do for that spring. But I'm not sure right offhand how to get that out of there. So we will be back with you uh, as soon as we get it cleaned up and ready to put back together. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And don't forget, uh, all the reels that we sell here at ETX Reel Service and Repair, they can be found on eBay. And the name of our eBay store is ETX Reel Service. No spaces. <coughs> With no spaces, excuse me. <coughs> and there will be a link in the description. I'm sorry for that. Everyone have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one.